Here's problem 32. A wire carries a current of 30 amps along the x-axis from x equals 0 to x equals plus 3 centimeters. Determine the magnitude of the magnetic field at the point y equals 4 centimeters on the y-axis. Let's see if we can plot what's going on here. So we have the x and y-axis and we have a wire carrying a current along the x-axis in the direction of positive x and the value of that current is 30 amps. And if we were to employ the right hand rule pointing our thumb in the direction of this current we would find that there would be a magnetic field going around this wire uh, in the direction shown and hence at the point where we're going to consider on the y-axis at y equal 4 centimeters that magnetic field is going to be coming out of the page towards you. So there will be a magnetic field coming out of the page towards you at that point. We want to find out what that value of that magnetic field is at y equal 4. Okay. Well, we have a formula for this for a line segment of wire. The magnetic field at this point is going to be equal to mu naught i over 4 pi r cosine theta 1 minus cosine theta 2. And in this case, um, theta 1 is from the direction of the current to the direction pointing to that point. So that's going to be, this angle right here is going to be theta 1. And then as the current is going to the right here and we're pointing back to this point here this angle here is going to be theta 2. So theta 1 is actually 90 degrees and cosine of theta 1 then will be 0. Theta 2 is this obtuse angle here and what is that? Well, if you have two supplementary angles like this in this case this is theta 2 and if we say that the other angle is alpha, the supplementary angle of theta 2, it would be true that the cosine of uh, theta 2 will be equal to the negative cosine of alpha. That's true for supplementary angles, angles that add up to 180 degrees. So if we knew what the cosine of alpha was, we would find the cosine of theta 2. And looking at alpha in this triangle here, we actually have a 3, 4, 5 triangle, our hypotenuse being 5 centimeters. So the cosine of alpha is going to be 3 fifths. Looking at that 3, 4, 5 triangle, hence the cosine of theta 2 is going to be equal to a negative 3 fifths, the negative of the cosine of alpha. All right, so based on that, we now have the magnetic field at point P is equal to mu naught, which is 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7, times the current, which is 30 amps, over 4 pi, now times the distance R. R is the pure perpendicular distance to the line of action of the current. Current line of action of the current is the x-axis, and the perpendicular distance to the point is this this distance here which happens to be four centimeters so R is going to be 0 0.04 meters cosine theta 1 is going to be 0 minus cosine theta 2 and negative 3 fifths so 4 pi's cancel out and this is equal to 3 times 10 to the minus 6 over 4 times 10 to the minus 2 times a negative negative, which would be 3 fifths. So this is 3 times 3 over 4 times 5 times 10 to the minus 4, which is going to be um, 9 divided by 2 times 10 to the minus 5. or 4.5
times 10 to the minus 5 tesla, which I could write as 45 micro tesla. So the magnetic field at uh, the point P is 45 micro tesla, and it's coming out of the page towards you. So that's the magnetic field at that point.